Hello everyone, I am Manash and today I will be discussing about a scalping tool that I have developed which can be used for practicing scalping as well as taking real live trades during scalping. Okay, So um, as we all know scalping is a very fast uh, entry and exit method where you need to take quick decisions, quick entry, quick exit. So um, it's good first of all to have practice. So practicing scalping is difficult because like what when I when I say pa practice, I mean paper trading. So paper trading, you have apps like Neota and um, Flat, uh, sorry, uh, Front Page, but these apps are not that good in terms of sc uh, scalping because they are mobile-based apps. So scalping cannot is efficient scalping cannot be done with mobile. Okay, so this is a unique platform that I've developed where you can do both paper trading as well as use the same interface for taking direct trades from your broker. Okay. So let's look at the features and then I'll quickly explain and show you some how, how, how it is used. Okay. So this is the interface basically, uh, which is named as fast trade. So let's look at first the paper trading mode. Okay. So by default, when this is open, it will always open in a paper trading mode. So there are multiple features here. So the, uh, the layout is something like this. You choose a strike for a particular index. So one call strike is chosen, one put strike is chosen, and then you take the trades. So for example, let's say I'll select lots, okay? Some lots, let's say I'm taking four lots of a particular index, I'll, let's say, trade Bank Nifty, okay? Uh, so for this Bank Nifty, the current spot price is this much. So I can take uh, whatever strikes I need, ATM, uh, OT, ATM plus one plus two, these are OTM strikes, these are ITM strikes. I generally prefer ATM strikes, so automatically it will take the uh, ATM uh, strikes on the call side. The left side is the call side. The right side is the put side. Okay, and they are the respective prices, which are streaming live streaming prices. Okay, so depending on how many lots you choose, this quantity. So this is a quantity box. This is a quantity box, and this is a, this will be filled automatically. Okay, depending on whatever uh, index. So if this bank uh, Nifty, it will be in multiples of fifty. Okay, so uh, that's one thing now. So now the next thing is we have to set what kind of orders you place okay so typically what is done is in scalping we both make entry that is the buy order through a market order so here you can place a market order so buy orders will be always placed as a market order okay and sell order similarly you can place as a market order what are the other options the other options are an ltp that i'll explain later and the limit order so you can place a limit order by clicking limit here and placing whatever limit price you want to place okay so typically for paper trading you can have market order or a limit order okay so this, this you set for the buy side, okay? And this is for the sell side. So you have to set what kind of buy order you're going to place. You have to set what kind of sell order you can you want to place. After this, as I said, this part is for the call strikes, which is 43,100. And this side is for the put, put strike, which is 43,100. So let's take a trade first and then see what happens, okay? Right now, uh, 43,100 uh, uh, call is at 174 and this is at 173 okay let me take a put trade first okay so quantity is 60 selected here i can change this quantity here also if i want and i can place a buy so when you click buy immediately you will have this order book um uh, showing the order okay remember this is a paper trade this is not a real trade okay and the beauty is that whenever you take a trade it will show in your order book and it will also be saved in an excel file so that excel file you can open later for your post analysis okay which is very, very helpful if you want to practice scalping and see how your performance is happening. Again, these are unique features you will not get in any any app or any platform for for the uh, and specifically designs for scalping. There are other platforms for other purposes, but for scalping, you will not get this kind of a platform. OK, so my position is 60 quantities are open and I have this is running PNL for this particular position. OK. If I want to, let's say, add a few more quantities, I can add, let's say, I'm adding uh, 30 more quantities. So now I have the first order executed 169, and then the second order is 170. My PNL is right now this one. So I can sell some of these. Maybe I'll sell 45 quantities at uh, this one. So this one I've sold, and the remaining uh, remaining 45 quantities are remaining. So I can place another um, uh, another sell order, or the simple way is that I can close positions. Okay. So if I close positions, all these open positions will get closed. See, all the open positions got closed, and this is my PNL as of now. Okay, so it's very plainly very simple, right? It looks very simple, but it is very very feature rich. 
so uh, you can now understand so let's say if i want to place a limit order let's say first buy something okay let's buy again the put so i put, uh, bought 45 quantities of 183 let's put a limit order okay that if the price reaches 185 if i play uh, so so it's i place the limit order at 185 so if the price reaches 185 this will get executed let's see if it, if it gets executed or not so right now the price is moving against so i'm not sure whether it will hit uh let's see let's see let's see 183 no it's not reaching there ah 183 183 let's see if we reach 185 yeah we are almost there yeah see so the sell order is placed and you got uh, three points of profit and this is my running pnl okay so now i'll show you another thing which is called a trailing okay so how will you trail so let's first put it in mar market so we'll take another position maybe something different let's say we'll take uh, 60 quantities of buy okay we have bought 60 quantities at 182 okay so you can trail if the price moves in your direction. So let's say uh, if it is right now it is not moving. So if it goes down, uh, we can trail this or, or we can also put a stop loss. How? So our buy price is 182. So I will say that I, my minimum uh, stop loss will be at, my stop loss will be at, um, let's say 172. Okay. So that's my stop loss. So I'll put a, this one is enabling the stop loss. Okay. How many quantities are open? 60. So I can put it here. Okay. This is whatever quantity I want. I can plus minus. Very quickly, you can change the. Uh, you see, remember, this plus minus will change in multiples of the lot. Okay. So when I, when I click plus, it will be 60 plus 15. Okay. Not 61, 62, 63. It's a lot, lot addition and multiple, uh, uh, subtraction. So I am placing a stop loss at 172. So see, it's showing here trailing. So I am trailing at 172. So if it, is, it reaches 172, it will get exited. Okay. So let's see what happens. So right now it is almost at my cost price 182. If it moves in my favor, then I can quickly trail this uh, price also. So that's a big advantage. Let's see if it falls down, we will trail it. Yes, it's slowly moving in our direction. So we'll quickly see. I can quickly change this price. So it is 183. I am placing at 178. So I'm trailing the price okay so i am now at 181 so let's see if it okay it's going in my favor i am going see we are able to trail it very nicely we had 184 great 185 uh great 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 go up yeah great fantastic fantastic see, we can so quickly see we got stopped out so you see how quickly we were able to change our uh, price and uh, trail, trail the stop loss. So we entered at um, 182, we exited at 192. And if we had, we, if we had uh, set our limit a little bit less, we could have got it up to this point, okay? So this is the beauty of this trailing, okay? It can be used as a stop loss. And since there is this huge movement, the prices move so quickly and you can follow the price by keep, simply clicking plus and minus. No typing, no, no wasting time in typing or anything, okay? So I hope you can see uh, how, how powerful this interface is. And the more you use it, you will become more comfortable. So all this, so all these trades I took on the put side, I can take a trade in the buy side, the same thing. It doesn't make sense because the market is falling, but okay, I can show you. Maybe uh, 15 quantities I will take. So I'm taking a buy order, 155, and then sold it at 156, okay? So you can see how fast this is, okay? Now, one thing I did not mention here is that this slip page, okay? So slippage is basically see this is a paper trading right so when we do paper trading this price that we're getting is the market price at which that market uh whatever that uh whenever you're clicking the button but in reality what happens is that there will be some slippage you will not get at the exact price so to factor that okay because it's a paper trading so but we want the results of the paper trading to be as close as reality so that's why we can put a percentage okay so for example, if I take uh, 0.5, 0.05%, so what will happen whenever I will place a buy order, the price will be 0.05% above this price, okay? Which is what happens in reality. You will get slightly above price than you what you expected for a buy order. And for sell, you will get slightly less. This is, this is called slippage. So this slippage can be, let's say, factored by putting this parameter, okay? But everything remains the same. 
so uh, i think uh, this interface is almost clear so as i said this is the order book uh, all the orders are uh, coming so you can quickly see we can scroll also in this or order book and see the orders and this is a terminal list i will not explain much because it is not of much use but it gives some messages which sometimes is important for example when it is trailing and all you can see some good um, messages all right so you can so this app part is almost explained now let's now let's see the another beautiful feature of this so as i said this terminal can be integrated with your broker so for example this particular uh, interface right now is configured with flat trade okay so if i connect this broker connected if i click this you see we get this message connected to broker flat trade okay so right now i am connected with my flat trade broker okay so let's see uh, this is my flat trade uh, account uh, and here this is my order book so let's try to place an order okay first we'll try uh, with uh, i'll try with an o o otm strike okay as i said my atm is selected but i can select again different strikes from here also so i am now selected 40700 the price is less uh, which is good so maybe i can place a uh, limit order on ltp okay let's place a limit order okay so let's place a limit order at 17.4 okay so i have bought this so see there is this order coming and this is placed okay so i have got one order placed with 17.20 price all right now if i want to uh, sell this i can keep simply click sell it will sell the um, price or a very easy way you can close position if you give close positions it will close all the orders right now i am showing how to let's see if close position works or not see close positions sell is done at 17.50 so you can see uh, we can place orders i am placing here and it is taking immediately so it's this is happening Im immediately so it's very fast okay i can place a limit order okay maybe i can place a limit order at 10 okay if the price reaches 10 i will place this buy so i can place a buy order here wait See? so whenever an order is placed there's a there's, there's a sound tuck sound which seems similar to zero okay so you can get notification so so you can see this order is pending okay it's an open order and all these things will also show up here okay so you don't even have to open this all your order book and everything is coming up here now let's say you want to cancel this order you don't want to buy it at 10 okay so there is a very simple option simply click cancel so when you click cancel you see this will get cancelled see and here also this is coming as now cancelled so it's a fantastic application huge application a lot of features okay so um with this i end this video we will create another videos uh, to explore these features more okay so if i want to again come back to my uh, or regular uh, paper trading mode i can simply switch this off and again see this is my again i'm back to the uh, paper trading mode with this is my order book of the paper trade see my order book of the broker is this one and this is my paper trading order book and all this is saved to a file okay so this file is an, in is an excel cell excel sheet you can uh, open it and you can uh, see all this all this data all this data is saved in the excel file okay um, another thing i think we can see is the day pnl so let's see so day pnl is basically whatever positions that we have closed okay realized pnl okay so today's realized pnl is this much okay on the paper trading board so you can see we have one call trade one call uh, strike we traded where this was a profit as and this is the put put trade and this is our total uh, cumulative realized profit okay so with this i end this video we will again uh, create new videos to explain the features more thank you very much